Holy cow, oh, this is a big, this is a real nice fish right here. Get the net, oh, we got a net. We got a net. Sometimes it is fun to go pick the most public random spot in your area and just try to be successful. On this channel, I have always tried to do the most relatable types of fishing so that anyone watching me can go out and enjoy the same type of stuff that I get to enjoy on a daily basis. On this particular day was no different. We targeted some of the most public areas in Orange Beach, Gulf Shore, area to try and catch dinner. That is a pretty sight right there, folks. What is happening? Welcome to another video. I'm at our outdoor store, Beach Bum Outdoors. We just got in a ton of bull minnows, and I'm gonna take some bull minnows out and see if I can catch some fish. If you're new to the channel, we do have an outdoor store right here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And so if you are in the area, pop in. It's called Beach Bum Outdoors. We've got bull minnows, shrimp, all the tackle you need. I'll give you a little look around real quick. This is just kind of what the inside of the store looks like. If y'all want to go check it out. So you want to check me out? This is Vanessa. She's our employee of the month. Of the year. I'm in the year, my bad. Do you order anything? Yeah. Let's go for a ride. We're gonna go hit up a few different places in the Orange Beach, Gulf Shores area, and hopefully we can find one that's working out. Very first area we started at is Perdido Pass Seawall. Now this place is super public, located right out back of the Gulf Restaurant. Free to fish, free to park. Brad's got a net, y'all. What is the world coming to? We are. What is the world coming to? Pinfish. Holy cow! I don't know if anybody's ever seen us use a net on your channel. I don't think so either. It's the first time, dude. Them, all right <clears throat> these are big old healthy bull minnows guys come on by the store and get you some did, did you just j let him go seriously <laughs> brad just literally dropped our first bull minnow overboard and he's chumming got him on a little circle hook just gonna toss him out right there and just kind of let him sit and hang out i'm gonna loosen the drag we're gonna go multiple rods there we go we're good we're just going to wait for that thump. See if we can get a good keeper fish to take home and eat. I'm eight. I'm oh, Brad's getting eight. Are you on? There you go, Brad. First there you go. First day. fish of the day right here. Oh, dude, you caught us. Is that a sand perch? Yeah. Put it, killing it, Brad. I'm up one nothing. <laughs> that doesn't count. That's bait. Getting my first, my first bite of the day out here. All right, he dropped it. He was on there. <laughs> Ah, that wasn't a flounder. That was a fish that was like running with it. Redfish. Mm, probably like a, maybe a lady fish or something. Oh wait, I'm on, I am on. Holy cow, just kidding. We'll see what it is here in just a second. Decent fish, dude. Get the net, oh, we got a net. I got the net. We got a net ready to rock and roll here. If this is a flounder, it's a giant. Nope. What is that? Oh, big mangrove. Get him up here. That's a keeper, dude. We're netting them. <laughs> yeah, we're netting something today. Guys, that right there is a, that's a 13 inch mangrove snapper, which is a keeper here in the state of Alabama. So we're going to keep this guy. Well, that's a pretty good start to the day. This is what Brad's catching over here. Nothing to see here. Brad's got the state of Alabama. It fights hard though, doesn't it? It does fight really hard. Yeah. The, the difference that these bull minnows make versus the shrimp is your bull minnow stays out there longer this time of year because the trash fish tend to not pick it apart like they do a shrimp. And so therefore you do tend to catch better fish on the bull minnow. So we're going to get it right back out here and see. Oh, we are getting a little bite right here. Got him. There's a fish. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> look at this. A hardtail on a bull minnow. Guys, this is a blue runner, a.k.a. hardtail. Got him on a bull minnow. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get out here. That's why I like this place. So, guys, as always, I keep my spoon with me when I'm anytime I'm fishing, just in case I see fish blowing up, and I am seeing fish blow up right now. 
So I'm gonna like just toss a spoon out and see if we can get bit. I don't know what, oh, there's a decent blow up right there next to the seawall. Oh, there we go, I'm right on them there. Let's see if we get hit. There we go, there's a fish, I got him. No, I told you, that's why you always keep the spoon with you. Uh, let's see what we got, yep. Guys, I have been catching so many of these lately. That is a Spanish mackerel at the seawall right here and there's some big ones blowing up again oh that may not that may be a jack okay i always keep a spoon oh my gosh my bait's messed up always keep a spoon with you for this reason right here let's see if we get hit again yep oh we're getting hit come on Some of those are big blow-ups too. There's fish blowing up everywhere down here. So I'm gonna walk down here and just make some casts. When I see fish blowing up, it's time to go. What's up, Fred? What's up, Fred? We gotta go get on them. Right at the back of this restaurant, y'all. Gotta get down here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach them, dude. They've got this thing blocked off and you can't, uh, I can't get, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach them or not. We'll see. Oh, we're gonna be close. We're gonna be close. Ah, come on. Oh, dude, I think I'm in them. I think I'm in them. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I was in them. Oh, there we go. I got hit again. I got hit, hit second time, second hit. <laughs> okay. I would not be able to do this without this combo, and I'm gonna to talk to y'all about it here in a minute, but I've gotta make the most, oh God, I hit my GoPro. Insanely long cast imaginable right here. Okay, let's see, see what that's gonna do. Got him, there's a good fish. There we go, there we go, right here, back, at, I'm literally in the restaurant catching these fish. <sighs> <laughs> You couldn't do this without this combo. Nice Spanish mackerel right here, y'all. Whoa, whoa, oh, and there he goes. Okay, well, he slipped out of my hands. Let's try this again. Got him, there we go, there we go, there we go. We're getting them now, baby. <laughs> oh, man, I'm losing a bunch of them today, but that's okay. There we go, got him, got him, got him. Right, that boat just ran over every single one of them, but I got them right before the boat got here. So that's cool. <laughs> oh man. Decent fish here. Heck yeah. Another nice Spanish back roll right here, y'all. I switched sides. I walked over to the other side of the bridge simply because I saw a massive feeding frenzy over here. And I wanna go see what it is. I'm looking at them right now just a massive feeding frenzy we're about to walk into. Now we've got like five boats going through them, so that's terrible timing. That being said, I still think we can reach them. Oh, I got him, missed him. First, first. <laughs> Dang, tangled my, tangled my lure up. Feeding. It is a blitz in this pass right now, y'all. If I can get a cast right now, I'm about to be on. <sighs> oh my gosh. I think I'm in them. There we go. There we go. We got him. There we go. It's 
coming in. I think it's a Spanish. Oh yeah, come on buddy, get up here. Nice Spanish from the beach right here, y'all. We're gonna release them and uh, get back after another one. See you, buddy. Wait, where well, you going the wrong way? You going the wrong way? You going the wrong way? Go out. Good. Come on. There you go. There you go. Another big wad down here. We're gonna move. This is a what this is an insane feeding frenzy right here. Oh. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Another Spanish right here, y'all. It is a blitz out here on the beach. I can't turn down a blitz, I'm sorry. So my channel is called Angler Up with Brant. My name's Brant, okay. and it's an angler like a fisherman. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yes sir. Oh, they are in a frenzy out here, dang. There he is, it's every cast now. It is every cast. Yes. Oh, he came off. <laughs> after spending an hour catching one Spanish after another, I had to leave and get ready for a sales meeting that evening at Beach Bum Outdoors. But the fishing isn't over yet. We are up here at Beach Bum Outdoors having our monthly sales meeting. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab some shrimp out of the shrimp tank back here. And we're about to go do some night fishing. It's like 10 p.m. What's up? What's up? Woo! Woo! The visitors yeah. be here. That's right. 300. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> That's the team right there, folks. So let's go, uh, let's go hit some dock lights, see if we can't catch some fish. Whew. Man, it is, it is muggy out here tonight. <laughs> yeah, come here, shrimp. All right, y'all, let's go see what's out here. I have not fished this dock light in quite some time. Whew, it's windy. I didn't think it was gonna be windy, but it is, golly. Let's see if there's any fish in the light. Cannot tell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think we got some fish. Sweet. First bait going out. We're just taking a live shrimp. We've got a single hook. And we've got a old school bobber. Y'all comment below if you've ever used these old school corks. Let's get it out there. There we go. I'm gonna set it in the rod holder. And when it goes under, hopefully it won't take too long. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we're getting our first bite. There's a fish, there's a fish. First fish on right here. Let's see what we got working with. Oh, that's a nice fish, I think. Come here. Oh yeah, nice trout. First fish of the night here, sweet. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Fish number one right here. First first bait in the water, trout number one. We're gonna release this guy. See you, buddy. Sweet. All right, y'all, getting another shrimp going here. Let's get us a good fish. There we go. Put it back in the rod holder right here. Ready to rock and roll. Turn the light off. We're gonna sit back and see if we can get us one. We're getting another bite here. Oh, my drag was loose. Oh my gosh, oh yeah, we're on, here we go. Holy cow, oh, this is a big, this is a real nice fish right here. Real nice fish, I can feel, feeling. Come on, don't be a kitty. Don't be a kitty, it's a kitty, and be mad. It is a kitty, holy cow. <sighs> That's a fake out right there. I can't believe it. I thought I had a redfish or a big trout. Dang it, man. I swear.
We are back at the house now. Y'all check this out first and foremost. We've got some fresh Spanish mackerel, fresh mangrove snapper, homemade tartar sauce, sliced tomatoes. We were fishing that dock light last night. We caught that one speckled trout and it was like, it spooked everything. <laughs> and so, but I wanna show y'all something super cool. Uh, so we actually never got another bite last night check out our backyard this is our cooking section i want to show you guys why i was able to be successful at such a public spot that gets hit all the time now that was the seawall in orange beach in the parking lot of the golf restaurant like a million cars a day drive past that spot and so you would think that oh how I'm not gonna be able to catch fish there because it's so public that's not the case if you fish it right and fish some of these public places right you can be very successful but this is what allowed me you know what I'm gonna take a bite of this fresh fried fish first right here before I show you the the magic sauce because you're there's something about this that I've never showed you guys before that's awesome Fresh tartar sauce with fried fish, nothing better. So, this is my favorite long cast combo. Now, I've showed you other combos that I really like from the beach. One of them being the Pen Slammer 4500 and the Ninja Dagger 9 foot. But this is a Daiwa Saltist 5000 with a 10 foot bummy stick. But here's the beauty of this combo and why I was able to cast so far to those fish today to reach them when normally you wouldn't be able to. Uh, this 5,000 holds 20 pound braided line really, really well. Braided 20 pound braid is so thin that I can spool up a 5,000 size reel and bomb it out there so far with this bummy stick and this reel. This is the ES casting metal. And I can cast that so far and that is the reason that I was successful today. I was successful on the beach the other day. Sometimes you have to make extremely long casts to catch these fish. And this combo right here is without a doubt my favorite go-to long cast combo. And so Daiwa was actually nice enough to send us a bunch of stuff for this video. And so what I have done is I have packaged this combo just like this, the bummy stick, the Daiwa reel spooled with 20 pound braided line. I've got that linked in the description. You're gonna be able to purchase this exact combo that I was using today. You're gonna get a free Daiwa hat. You're gonna get the line for free and you're going to get a free spool of leader material from Daiwa as well. It's gonna all come packaged right to your house. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not a cheap combo. This is for people that want a combo that is gonna last them a very long time and that is going to hold up with the, in sand and salt, but that you can also cast a mile. And so, uh, and get you some of these ES casting spoons as well. So I just wanted to share that with you while I eat this fish and these fresh tomatoes. And hopefully when it cools down, we can finish our cooking section. Yeah, it's been and too hot. I know Melanie has just uh, informed me that we still have kind of a ways to go on our outdoor cooking session uh, section out here. We kind of put it on hold because it's been like 110 degrees, <laughs> and so we're like, yeah, let's just let's just put it we on. We want to save our handyman's life. Yeah, and so <laughs> mm, there's something about tomatoes in the summertime. I don't like tomatoes any other time unless it's hot. I don't know why, but. So this is coming along. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, shoot me a big thumbs up. I've got this combo linked in the first comment as well as the description. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. I absolutely love it. Other than that, we'll catch you next time.